Good morning, vinyl community. It's Robert from Blocks Sonic Wafers. And I am here watching the rain fall out my window and enjoying my coffee for the morning. Ah. And this will be the second volume of my secret stash series, quote unquote. Uh, as you may recall, if you watched the first incarnation of, of this series, my camera messed up on me uh, before I was done, and so I just ended the video right there. <clears throat> and the video ended while I was talking about this album here, MCA Master Series Guitar Stars. Uh, I was giving you a rundown on who is on it and uh, there's two songs from each artist you've got Larry Carlton Acoustic Alchemy Albert Lee Billy Joe Walker Jr. and the great Jerry Douglas uh, it's a really good album it's uh, varied in the types of music if you're not familiar with the great Jerry Douglas, you may have heard him in with Allison Krause's band Union Station. He was on quite a few of her records, but he's been on <clears throat> thousands of records by many, many people. So that's where we left off on the last video. <coughs> there were two more records in the secret stash that didn't get mentioned, but not to worry because I have replenished my beetle bag. Uh, Frank Zappa's orchestral favorites. Uh, this was a cutout. I don't know if it was a promo or just in the bargain bin. Uh, this one to me is, is, is a little deeper. It's on discreet. This was a little more difficult for me to grab hold of, but it is growing on me. That's the thing, thing about Frank Zappa. His music is so varied uh, and goes in so many directions from classical to jazz to, to Frank Zappa. Uh, you don't always know what you're gonna get. Uh, this was one that I'm gonna continue to dig into until it jumps on my back and, and takes me along for the ride. And this one, I'll bet you can guess what that is. It is Black Sea from XTC. Excellent album, as usual from these guys. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, XTC, I don't, art, art pop, some power pop, but uh, it's all great stuff. I have several of their albums uh, mixed in 5.1 by Stephen Wilson, including this one. And that just makes me love their material even more. So XTC. Now we're getting into the replenishing of the secret stash here. First up, Phil Oaks, Chords of Fame. And this is a promotional copy, not for sale. It's a double LP with a lot of good information on the back. And there are quite a few songs on this that had uh, not been released. That looks like a former insect in the fold there. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Phil Oaks, look at their white label promo, not for sale. I ain't marching anymore. The draft darts are rag. Here's to the state of Nixon. Bound for glory, too many martyrs there but for fortune. There's been many songs written about Phil Oaks, so he's become famous in one way or another. Uh, and there's some really great stuff on this double LP. 
I'm really glad I ran into it. And it was in perfect condition. Harry Chapin has a, a great song about Phil Oaks called The Parade Is Still Marching On. And uh, Todd Snyder has a good song also about Phil. You might want to check those out. This was called Mercury Blues, I believe. What have we here? Small Days Creek by Mike Rutherford. Member of Genesis. Member of Mike and the Mechanics. Somewhat progressive. Uh, and this is one of his solo offerings and it's a very good album. I've had this for many, many years and it's still in great condition. The Tony Rice Unit, Mar West. Uh, we've lost Tony here in the last couple of years, unfortunately. Uh, I bought many albums in my earlier days based on things that I heard about them. And this was one of those. This was an introduction into a world of music that I was totally unfamiliar with. And at the time, I wasn't quite ready for it. It's uh, probably in the birth of new grass category. It's bluegrass instruments but they took the music in, in many different directions, uh, stretched it out, explored, experimented. You know, a lot of their tunes are, I don't know, based on classical or jazz or new age, uh, but it, it was a whole new genre, really. Uh, so it took me a while to get ready for, for this kind of music, but when I did get there, I got into it heavily and was fortunate enough to see a lot of these artists doing that type of music. Uh, you know, Sam Bush and Bela Fleck, Tony Rice, Mark O'Connor. Uh, and I've seen those guys all play together in, in different uh, groups and uh, variations. Uh, the Strength in Numbers guys and the Skip Hop and Wobble and and all of that stuff, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to see them live as many times as I have. But this is a great album. Uh, it's got Tony Rice, Richard Green, who was, uh, I believe, in Sea Train, Todd Phillips on bass, Sam Bush on mandolin, uh, Mike Marshall, and Neon... Tetra. I'm not familiar with Neon Tetra. Uh, it's got a song on here, Untitled as of yet. Space Grass, they're calling it. But I believe it settled into the New Grass category. And uh, check this stuff out if you haven't. I say that with every album, don't I? So I'm sure that gets old. Well, back to the Genesis camp. Here's a solo Steve Hackett album. Please Don't Touch. Great artwork on the uh, cover. And there is Steve Hackett. Got Richie Havens, Steve Walsh, Phil Earhart of Kansas, John Hackett, Chester Thompson, Tom Fowler, Graham Smith, John Acock, also featuring Neckham, the computer. So that's another uh, solo effort from a member of Genesis. Custom inner sleeve. Picture of all the artists involved. Tom Fowler was in Frank Zappa's band at one time. 
And I'm going to have to play this again after this video to remind me of exactly what it sounds like. Ah, kinks, the state of confusion. These guys need no introduction. Uh, come dancing is on this one. Young conservatives, heart of gold, Bernadette. Another effort, great effort from the kinks. More Kinks, Soap Opera, the Best Buy series uh, featuring Norman and the Star Maker. And that's on the RCA label. Moon Martin, Escape from Domination. Always enjoyed some good Moon Martin. Let's break this one out. You know, Moon Martin did a great version of uh, Bad Case of Loving You, which was also a hit for Robert Palmer. Uh, I think they both more or less had a hit with it. Moon Martin, I think, is no longer with us. Correct me if I'm wrong. The late, great Joe Cocker and a live album. Not as popular as uh, Mad Dogs and Englishmen, but this is a good record. Pardon Me Sir, High Times We Went, She Don't Mind, Black Eyed Blues, Something to Say, Midnight Rider, Do Right Woman, Woman to Woman, and St. James Infirmary. So, Joe Cocker Live was, uh, I like his live stuff a little more than his studio stuff, but there's some great studio material out there, especially his first couple of albums. I've seen a lot of people show this one here lately, and this was the uh, American version of the first Uriah Heap. My cover's got a little wear on it, but the uh, LP's in great shape. I'm a huge fan of the uh, the David Byron years of Uriah Heep. And to be honest, I'm not really familiar with the after David Byron years. Great shot of the band on stage. Love this album. I especially love their second album, Salisbury. Uh, that particular song in particular is a, a great departure from their their normal style of music and they, they got, it, got it with an orchestra to do that song. Uh, you know, similar to what Deep Purple did early in their career. Uh, but it's I think it's like 21 minutes and it's a great tune. It's got a, some great guitar solos in it. And of course, David Byron's awesome vocals throughout. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Demons and Wizards. Uh, and The Magician's Birthday, and on and on. But another band that I'm a big fan of, who have recently come back and are touring the States quite a bit, Nectar, a tab in the ocean. My first album by them, and I believe I showed it in my uh, first video. 
was uh, remember the future. That was my introduction to nectar and and then I started going backwards and picking up anything I'd missed and and of course grabbing anything that came out. I love the recycled album with Larry Fast guesting on synthesizer. But this is a great one too. A tab in the ocean. I wonder what they're referencing. All right, this is the last one for this particular edition. Uh, I don't want to make these videos too long. I've, I've done some of those. The Birds, untitled. Double LP, one album is live, one album is studio. Gene Parsons, Clarence White, Roger McGuinn, and Skip Batten. And I'm not sure who that gentleman is up there in the mirror. I'll have to figure that out. So side one, concert, has a lover of the bayou, positively 4th Street, Nashville West, So You Want to Be a Rock and Roll Star, Mr. Tambourine Man, and Mr. Spaceman. Side two, concert, the whole side is eight miles high. And then we get to the uh, studio material, Chestnut Mare, which is well known, Truck Stop Girl, All Things, Yesterday's Train, Hungry Planet, Side Four, Just a Season, Take a Whiff, You All Look Alike, and We'll Come Back Home. Always got Roger McGuinn involved. I got to meet him one time. I was in Nashville working and I just happened to find out that he was doing a solo show in a very small venue. Uh, and he kind of went over his history and the history of the birds and played the songs chronologically as, as they occurred. And the place was so small you couldn't help but meet him. And, he signed a tour book I had from a, a, a totally different uh, situation. He was kind enough to, to write his name on that. I'll have to show you all that sometime. I've got autographs all over it from Graham Nash and David Crosby and Jim McGuinn and Roger McGuinn and uh, a, tons, a ton of Nashville songwriters whom you may not know without the song next to their name. <clears throat> uh, but I've had some good times in Nashville when my work took me there. So that is uh, the second episode of Secret Stash. If you don't know what Secret Stash is about, go back to the first video and I think I explained it in that one. Uh, and there will be a continuation of the series. So basically I'm just showing you what's in my collection. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please come back for the next one. Sign up, sub up, all that good stuff. I need some traffic. And I'd like some comments and and likes and stuff like that. You know, people are people are watching some of my videos. I don't know if they're they're so bad that they're just not worth a comment. But if they are bad. Let me know in the comments. I can handle some uh, some cri critical thinking. <laughs> uh, so that's it for this video. I hope you're having a great day and go spin some records from your secret secret stash. <laughs>